Good morning. Happy Monday. I have a Monday challenge for you. And that is to call someone up. I know you have to pick up the phone, make a phone call and tell them what an impact you have seen them make in someone else's life and how grateful you are for that. So it's not something that someone has done for you, but it's something you've observed or you've heard and pour love into them. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story of what I did. I do this a lot actually, but I want you to do it and I want you to comment how you felt and how it was received by the other person. So I have a friend that for a few years, we have been talking about faith. And uh, I love to talk about faith if you didn't know that. <laughs> And she um, has not been in church for a long time. She's had a very hard life. She's an amazing person. And she has asked me more and more questions over the years. And she had a, I think a children's Catholic Bible, King James Version, very hard to understand. And about a month ago, she had said, gosh, I really need a Bible that I can understand. You girls are encouraging me. There's a group of us that meet every week, virtually five of us. We really do life and pour into each other. And so I had told her personally, I love a study Bible. I've had it since I was a teenager and it has blessed me. And why I like it is it cross-references scriptures. It tells you who wrote that book, what the time period was, what was going on, the context, why, so on and so forth. They're expensive, right? And this particular person, she struggles with finances. She's doing all the right things. I see miraculous cash all the time. I pray for miraculous cash for her. If you want to know about that, another time I can tell you. But I've really watched God bless her. And she still has a lot of heart. And so I had actually considered buying her a Bible. But I hadn't done it yet. I was asking my one friend about it. And uh, probably three months ago, some ladies in the community invited her to a Bible study. She'd never gone to a Bible study. It's in person, very small town. So she started going and they are loving on her and she loves it. And then her teenage daughter wanted to start going with her, starts going with her. Then they get invited to church on Sunday. She goes, very tiny church. She tells us this last week that she was at church on Sunday and the pastor came up to her and said, hey, I was given this Bible on accident would you like it? Like I ordered one and they gave me the wrong one. And she says, oh my gosh, yes, I would love that. He hands her a Bible. It's the study Bible. We've been encouraging her to get. Okay, just pause for how awesome God is. God cares about all your requests, the little details he cares about. Not only that, she had always wanted a red letter Bible. If you don't know what that is, um, where Jesus speaks is in red lettering. It's a red letter Bible. So I said, oh my gosh, do you know how to use this Bible? She said, no. I said, let me show you. So we get into it and I'm like, see how this verse goes that? And she's like, this is amazing. And then I said, well, <clears throat> is it a hardbound one? Cause you want to get a case to protect it. And she said, no, it's leather. She would have never bought a leather bound Bible. She can't afford it. And I, I started crying. I know it sounds silly, but like God is so sweet. He sees your needs and your requests. And so she said, I just can't believe he gave this to me. And I said, do, do you see how, how sweet God is of all of your needs and, and what you had requested? And he gave you exactly that Bible. So I get off the call and I can't remember the name of this tiny church. I know it's something by this certain location. So I call my other friend and I'm like, what's the name of the church again? She tells me, I find the pastor. I call the pastor. I had to call a couple numbers because the voicemail sent me to somewhere else, whatever. He answers the phone and I just said, hey, you don't know me. I'm so-and-so, but I'm very good friends with this person. And I just want to let you know what I've observed the last few years and what your church and your congregation of like 30 people, by the way, it's this tiny little church, have done for her and her family. And I want to thank you because I know we don't always get to see the discipleship that's coming and what's happening. And you have blessed her beyond. And, and that was a total gift from God, you giving her that Bible. And he was like, oh, well, thank you so much. It was maybe a three minute conversation. We get off the phone. Well, Sunday, <laughs> I get a voice message from this woman that got the Bible. And she's like, you sneaky Pete. You are the only Stephanie I know that would do this. The pastor came up to me and said he got a random call and he has never 
in all of his years of ministry, and he's older, I can tell by his voice, ever had someone call him and thank him for what he did for someone else. And he was in tears. You guys, it does not cost you much to love on people. It does not. And we are so interconnected and we need to hear the positive. Do you know how many times that pastor's heard complaints? So my challenge to you today, call, not, not text, not voice text, call up someone that you know has blessed someone that you care about in your life and tell them how much that person has made an impact in the person you care about. I want to hear that you've done it and how it went because you guys, that is so, so valuable. And I was not going to tell my friend that I had done that because that wasn't the point. It's not the point. And I do it a lot because I think people need to hear it. And you know what? I'll never meet that pastor. I don't know him. I don't need to know him because that's not what it's about. It's about encouraging him and filling him up to keep going and fighting for people. We need to fight for each other.